Hey ladies, I want to talk about delegation, okay? High value women delegate, apparently. <laughs> this is what I've learned over the past few years that I've been studying these kind of things. So I um, just want to share this with you. I am delegating right now as we speak, okay? I am here in the Dominican Republic. I'm about to go jump in that ocean right behind me. And right now I have, um, I have an Airbnb that's going to be going online very soon, but I have two people working over there right now. They're hanging pictures for me. Um, you know, they're checking on things and I had them, I'm paying them right now to make an Amazon list of all the things that are needed because I mean, I did a lot of the shopping myself a while back, but there are still some things that, that I forgot, you know, like we need more washcloths over there. Um, you know, uh, like a little safety, safety plug outlets, you know, like a child safety things and like, uh, doormat you know there's like a bunch of things that i forgot when i was shopping initially now that i'm delegating i'm paying somebody else to go over there and make a list shop for everything on amazon for me i mean i could do that myself right now <clears throat> it's probably going to take me a couple hours to do all the shopping okay and for me to go over there with a hammer and nails and hang all these pictures on the walls and stuff, it's just not a good use of my time, okay? And it puts me into a mental space of like, being busy all the time, working hard all the time, having all my time sucked up by all these things I have to do, okay? I lived like that all my life and right now I'm in a transition where I'm trying to become the type of woman that doesn't bother herself with those things, okay? I'm trying to become the type of woman who's here at the beach while other people are doing things for me, okay? So that's where I'm at in my journey. And no, every day of my life is not like that. I wish it was. <laughs> And I'm working towards that, like that is my goal. I'm trying to make my entire life like that every single day of my life, okay? It's improved a lot so far, but I still have further to go. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you, okay? The goal of my life is to get it where I don't have to do anything I don't really wanna do and all I wanna do is the stuff that I love to do, which is make videos, go to the beach, get my hair done, drink green juice, eat salads. I don't even wanna make the green juice myself anymore. I want somebody else to make it for me and that's what I've been doing. I have somebody else making it for me and delivering it to me, making all my salads because I also realize that I don't wanna chop lettuce anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to. I don't want to chop lettuce or peppers or cucumbers. It's just not a good use of my time, okay? If, if you can find somebody who can do these small tasks for you at a reasonable cost, you should just have them do it because you can literally, which I'm sure you know, you can fill your whole entire day with these little tasks that will take your whole day. And then you never get to do the stuff you actually want to do or the stuff that's going to produce you the most amount of income, okay? And depending on you know what your life plan is and you know what your goals are, that's something you need to take into consideration too. So for me personally, this is why I like having a life in the Dominican Republic. It makes it easier and more possible for me to live that lifestyle because the cost of labor here 
is actually very cheap, okay? It's very cheap. So I can have more people do more things for me so I don't have to do those things. And I can be here making a video for you or I can go jump in the ocean or I can go and get a massage, okay? So this is what I'm trying to do with my life. I just wanted to share it with you. Um, you know, and this is just part of the feminine journey for me anyway, okay? Everybody's journey is a little bit different for me. This is what I'm being called to do right now at this point in my life. And that is to delegate. Delegate so I can stay on the vibration and the frequency that I want to be on. And honestly, delegating is kind of difficult for somebody like me because I've lived most of my life doing things for other people and there's a lot of guilt associated with people doing things for me. There's like this underlying feeling of guilt and unworthiness. Like why should somebody have to take care of me, <clears throat> right? Why should somebody have to suffer for me, okay? Which is silly because I'm paying people, okay? But I'm just trying to show you what has gone on in my brain and it just has to do with the way that I was raised and you know some messages that went into my brain as a young child and those messages became my belief systems for most of my life. Now I'm trying to unravel that, I'm trying to change that and part of that is learning how to delegate and be comfortable with delegation. I've been working on this for the past couple years. I'm not all the way there yet but delegation has become a lot easier, okay? The more I've done it over the past couple of years, I'm getting more comfortable with it, okay? Um, but yeah, there was a time in my life that my belief was if I can do it myself, I should just do it myself because that means I'm a grown up, it means I'm responsible, it means I'm not taking advantage of other people, okay? This is what my inner dialogue was around that subject for most of my life. And I spent most of my life being tired and burnt out, okay? And never really being able to do the, the things I wanted to do or the things that were the best use of my own time, okay? Now that I'm beginning to realize the value of my time. It's like, it's mind blowing. Okay, I'm about to go and jump in the ocean right now while I have a few different people working on stuff for me. And yes, there was a time back in my self-aware Barbie days, not that I don't have those moments still, I still do. But when I lived in self-aware Barbie, most of my time, most of my life, going and jumping in the ocean wouldn't have been something I would want to do because I would think of it as a waste of time. That's a waste of time. Relaxing is a waste of time. And if I were ever forced to go and relax, I didn't even enjoy it. It was so uncomfortable and I just wanted to get out of there and go get my hands on something productive because I became addicted to being productive all the time. But now I realize that going and jumping in the ocean right now is productive. That's productive. I'm, I'm feeding myself, I'm feeding my soul, I'm doing something that is good for me psychologically, it's good for me health-wise as far as my physical, body okay going and jumping in the ocean right now is going to put me in a higher vibration all of those things are going to add to my day they're going to put me in a mental space where i can actually 
do the highest value things on my list, okay? I'm gonna be in the right space psychologically to journal, to meditate, to make videos, to do the things that actually mean a lot to me. And I'm gonna be in the right headspace to properly communicate with the people who are right now building my Airbnb business for me, okay? If I'm all frazzled and, you know, upset and stressed out because I'm doing too many things, how do you think I'm gonna communicate with those people? Probably not in the most effective way. Okay, I'm gonna forget things, okay? I'm gonna be shallow breathing the whole time. My back is gonna hurt, I may have a headache. It's just, I'm actually going to get more done doing it in a more relaxed state. And I'm going to communicate with the people who are helping me in a better manner. And by the time I get back to the US next week, my Airbnb is gonna be ready. And it's gonna be awesome because I didn't have to do anything myself. I got to stay here and do self-care things to get my body right and my mind right and other people did it for me. And then I get to collect the rental income. I know for some people, what I'm saying right now sounds so like, duh, yeah. It's like stuff they already knew. But for somebody like me and probably a lot of people who are watching, this is like something really difficult for them, okay? Yeah, for some people, this is a no brainer for a lot of us. We've never felt worthy enough to let other people do stuff for us. Or we felt like it was a waste of money to pay other people to do things that we could just do ourselves, okay? That's coming from a serious lack mentality. And yes, in certain situations, you just need to do it yourself, of course. But once you start to have a little bit of extra money, I would definitely say the first thing you may want to do is start delegating things because during that time, you can build yourself. You can invest the time into yourself and your body and your mental state. And if all those things are together and intact, it's going to be easier for you to make more money. Okay, it's an investment and delegation is an investment. So you have to think of it like that. And over time, as your income grows, you'll be able to afford to delegate even more. And hopefully once you get to the, you know, to the very top, everything will be delegated. And all you have to do is just like, you know, roll out of bed in the morning and do the things that you love to do as opposed to the things you have to do. And at the same time, you're helping a lot of people who need jobs, right? You know, there's lots of people in this world who are trying to make some money right now and that's the level they're on. They need to go exchange their time for money. They need 